everybody, welcome back to the channel. White bass, bass fishing with a fly rod challenge. What do you say? What do you say? After filming this Guggen week, um, it was requested that I go out and make some Golden Krispies, find some Golden Krispies, found some, and then I was like, man, this would be pretty cool to do with a fly, and I need to step up my fly game because I'm getting ready to go up to the great state of Colorado, be around tons of trout, while I'm elk hunting, I need to know what I'm doing with a fly. Luckily, one of our uh, camera technicians, well, I call him Backwater. Uh, Backwater Bryant is his name. He is one of our uh, lead camera guys here at the Guggen Squad, AKA Fly Fishing Phenom. Is Phenom a proper term or do you, is that too far? That's too far. That's too far, okay. I just enjoy it. You, you enjoy it, you're passionate about it, you're really good. Um, enjoy. You can teach me some things. Can. So that's kind of the goal today. Backwater was with, uh, he was filming some of our stuff this week when we found all these white bass and he was like, dude, the fly game would be strong here. And I agreed and I've never done that with white bass. I've seen some people do it while they're running up rivers um, in the springtime, but this is summertime. They're popping the tops. And uh, well, let's just show them this little one you got picked out here that might be the juice of juice. It's just a little EP fiber. E I, you know. I know I know none of this technology. EP uh, a little fiber. Fiber. Minna. A little Dude. shad. When that thing gets wet, it's going to be the exact profile we need. Oh, I, think. Yeah. I trimmed it up too because we know how big the shad are. Yeah, a little mod. So I did a little mod. I have some scissors in there. Trimmed it up. There is no way they're not going to smash that thing. Um, the other the other thing that I wanted to. Uh, pick Bryant's brain about is the types of flies that I would need or anyone else that's watching this video would need when they go up to Colorado. Trout in different fisheries, they eat certain things and you know, backwater Bryant, he, he's the backwater guy. He fishes, he fishes the backwaters, loves the fly. He's been, you've been all over the country pretty much doing the trout game, right? You've been to the, the typicals, the Montanas, Wyoming. He used to live in Montana, so he knows the fly game. So we're going to learn some stuff today, and we're going to have some fun. Whoop! Rip on some white bass, and uh, I also want him to help me set up my, my box that I'm going to take to Colorado. Let's get out there on the water. We've got a little rainstorm right now hitting the roof here at Guggen HQ, but I think that's going to enhance the topwater bite here at the end of the day. Can't really set the hook on them like that, I guess. It's more yeah, of just a, oh, you can? Lean on them. Do that motion. Dude, that's a dance move right there. That is the new dance move. Put that sucker on TikTok. Let's go. We got a little chop on the water right now. I'm hoping that it's going to just calm down to nothing and they're going to be hitting the tippy tops. But this little storm front is just blowing through. Prime time is in two hours from now. I might have to cast for a bass or two, but my goal is to try to learn some things on the fly. Literally. And for uh, Brian to just show me the ways of the fly. We're good, my friend. We're good. Ooh, wavy gravy. Time to fly. Get it. Let's go. Okay, Backwater's got me hooked up. So he's also going to help me with my fly selections for Colorado. We're going to try a little largemouth slash white bass uh, flies. Hook me up with this guy here, this Goldie. This one's probably got some funky name like Goldilocks McGee or Weedy Pie or something like that. Am I... Sparkle Minnow. Sparkle Minnow, okay. I like that name, Sparkle Minnow. And then this guy here, another shad-like specimen uh, with some big eyeballs. Looks like it's got some weight, so I'm gonna strip this around uh, some brush areas. I just thought about if we get hung up, it's gonna be such a, oh wow. Oh, don't worry, backwater's got it covered. I'm gonna switch up between those. These overcast conditions, the wind are starting to calm down and we're really looking for that last hour of the day. So we got about an hour to just kind of fun fish around and then it's gonna really be fun, that's the thing. There's nothing bad about this. In the backwaters of Backwater Bright. Yeah. Oh. What is that one called? It's called the D and D. D and D. Drunk and disorderly. Drunk and oh, dude, fly names should just be an Instagram account. Okay, 
I uh, don't know what I'm doing, but this should be fun. Just kind of getting my bearings right now. Oh yeah. Dude, I'm, I'm doing pretty good here. Just trying to strip this thing through some little buck brush spots. The other day, my first cast upon the white bass flurry. Oh, dude, I had one boil on it bass right there. Dude, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. I don't even know how to set the hook. Oh my gosh, what if we could actually get like a big bass going here? That would be crazy. Threading the needle. Oh my gosh, dude, I could see a bass destroying that thing. Ooh, dude, I think I just heard a, an actual topwater pop, like a largey pop. Oh, got one? oh, dude, I'm in the same deal as you. Oh, I see some shad back there. You sure that's shad? I don't know what that is. Dude, I think it's carp. I think I, I see a carp with his tail out of the water. I'm not, I'm not even kidding you. We should go see. With it just raining, they could be up there really shallow munching. Oh, dude, that is a carp. Yeah. I just saw his back come out of the water. Yeah. Okay. We got to do something about this. Oh, yeah, that's a carp, dude. Big one coming out of the water. Yeah. Yeah, they're feeding up there on like little crustaceans or something. I know for sure there's one because I just saw him his whole back out of the water. I'll rig up. Okay, this is all you. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, they're tailing. They're like redfish. Maybe maybe a worm. Dude, a worm might work. A little worm could work. I'm gonna do this little. This is a trout, little trout pattern. You've been trying to catch a carp on a fly in Texas for a minute now, right? You haven't done it yet in Texas? I mean, I've just been one time. <laughs> just been one time, okay. Well, I know, I know it's a goal of yours. Yeah. We have the opportunity. These fish are up here tailing in the mud. I've been wanting to learn how to do this. I've tried to do it because where I live, I've got some areas that are similar to this where I've seen them do this and I don't know how to catch them. I don't know what to throw. But old backwater, he might. Just take it easy on the speed, be sneaky. Wait till you see one tailing. These fish are in like uh, eight inches of water. Shallow. This is like red fishing in the flats. This is really good fishing today though. We've already had three boils. I know that the white bass are gonna be going crazy. Just after this rain, it's calming down, like everything's lining up. Even if we can't get the carp, we're gonna have a juicy time. I would love to see this happen myself. Well, I would love to know how to do it. I think it's one of the number one untapped things, untapped species, fishing opportunities in Texas. It's big in other states, but not here. We kind of just shoot them with a bow. It's more fun on the fly rod if you can catch them. There he is right there, that ripple, right there. Yes, backwater. Oh my gosh, look at that tail coming out of the water. Oh, dude, you're right by him. How can you tell when they eat it? Will it be like a thump? Yeah, just a little. Oh, dude, these bait fish are going crazy. Ripping it and whipping it. Backwater getting out there, jeez. Look at that guy way back there. He's just, he's just in the dirty. You think you could get out and like maybe stalk him? This is kind of cool. Hunting. Yeah, it is, it's like hunting fish. It's just oh, it's just inches. Backwater is in right now. See if he can uh, slide his way on up to this carp. He's got him cornered. Can he do it? Look at that, he's right, he's probably 20 feet from him. Look at that ninja crawl. Fly fishermen are just a different breed, I gotta say. The dedication is on point. Oh, oh gosh. He's spooked. There he goes. Dude, I thought you had him. He was following. He was following it. I kind of brought him in. Dude, backwater Bryant, legendary. This is why we call him backwater right here. Takes shoes off and if two turds just goes out there after them fish. Just enough visibility where you can't really see. Like I couldn't see him until he was right up on me. Oh, well, there they go on the other side of the island. Time has come for us to catch fish. It's been fun playing around, but 
carnage will begin now. Oh, we are like in the mud here. Oh gosh, look at them. Getting so excited with the splashes. When they take this thing, I just pull up. Oh, go, go, go. Dude, right by the boat. What? Yeah, try to burn it in. Burn it in? That's the key. Oh, 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 yeah. One was, one was right there. Oh my gosh, dude, the amount of. Oh, I got one. I got one. Dude, first bite bass. Bear's my bass. I'm flying my bass. Get it. Get it. Hooked up. Hooked up. Oh, dude, this is fun. Oh, yeah. Look at me. Oh, backwater. How do you land these babies? Yank her out of there, dude. Did you just yank her? You think I got enough power? Oh, yeah. I got enough power on this guy, pull, huh? Pull up some more black. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Best part about this, no treble hooks in the hand. Just one nice little hook there. God, they're gonna just destroy this. Look at them, chase. the exact thing they're chasing is what we have on. Oh my gosh, dude, listen to them. Oh, I got one on it, got one on it. Strip, 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 you got one on? <laughs> oh, got him, got him, yeah! Oh, dude, double hooked up, yeah! Let's go over there yeah, to the... Let's go to the juice pod. No way you don't get attacked right there. I think they might have moved further out. Oh. Boom! Right there. Oh, look at that jumper. Oh, man, right in front of me. Oh, gosh, you got it on the surface. Oh, oh, I'm hooked up, but I was trying to make another cast. Oh, my goodness. Dude, look at this falcon. This falcon's coming down and blasting him. What the hell? Yeah, it's an osprey. Man, y'all, this is cool. Oh, I just have one. Oh, oh. Come to Papa now. Come on in here. Oh yeah, got them all. Fish on, baby. Woo, biggie. This is a frenzy. Oh my gosh. Oh man, this one's running, dang them. <laughs> yeah, this one's like, these are big ones right here. Uh, look at that guy. Wow. Fun level. Next level on the fly stuff. That's beautiful right there. Come on. Come on, get it. Oh, flashing on it, flashing on it, flashing on it, flashing on it. You know you want some? You know you want some of that right by the boat? Come on. Oh, oh, got him. Oh, baby, yeah. Woo, sing with it now. It's not as big. Fun fight, though. Oh, I got one on it. Hurry up. Such a fight. On this tackle, dude. This is awesome. Two seconds later. <laughs> Oh, come on. Come on with it. Yeah. Woo now. I'll put that shoulder lean on him. Shoulder lean. Yep. Come here. Hey, you want to show You want to show the forage? Oh yeah. Look at that. Woo! Spit one out. It's like a little insane. Right by the boat. Whoa, gosh. Dang, that's so cool. Insanity. Insanity, y'all. Oh my gosh. This thing cannot be out there for more than a second. <laughs> Top water, baby. Get it now. Get it. Yeah, get it. Mm. Oh, that was the hardest. <laughs> oh my gosh. Backwater, what do you got on that? You think you're going to catch one? Every strip is like five minutes. Oh. Powerhouse, dude. 
was it on the water? Glorious. Absolutely glorious. It's every cast. This is insane. What in the world? Oh my goodness. Wabam, got a tiny one. Holy moly, man. These little shad getting popped out of the water is just absolutely insane. <laughs> one pop, dude. Oh, oh. Already on it. Already on it. Oh, and he's fighting so good. Get in here. <sighs> now he's just fighting really good. Oh, he's a magnum. There we go. Well, y'all, the sun is going down. The fish are still biting tremendously well, but um, I think we've caught over 100. I mean, they're literally all around us. They're over here, they're back here. Crepuscular feeders, that means low light feeders. It is happening. I think it got started a little earlier because of the rain today. Some sort of sh shad situation is happening. This is literally some of the craziest, this might be the top for me on white bass fishing. Like the most extended period of time of top water hitting activity in this size. Like pretty much everyone is a keeper. I'm gonna leave you on this amazing note. These fish tickling the surface in the background. Y'all, if you don't hit the like button, you're a savage. Just go hit it, smash it. Me and Backwater Bryant doubling up out here on fly rods. I'm ready, I'm ready for the Rockies. Catch my trout up there on my trip. You just gotta stay tuned. This has been an amazing fun. I wanna thank Backwater for helping me get dialed today. And I just gotta thank the white bass for making me so happy. Y'all are amazing, you know that? You get my confidence up. You taste great. You're ferocious feeders. There's no way, there's no way. I dream about the day I can take my daughter out here and get her on this for the first time and just get her hooked on fishing, man. I love you guys. I'm signing off and I will see you on the next episode. Backwater Bright, hooked up.